So today we will be discussing about one of the combinational circuits uh, which we are calling it as a decoder. So decoder is one of the combinational circuit uh, which we are, uh, are going to discuss here which is going to decode the given encoded bits. So let us proceed what exactly a decoder is and uh, we will see some of the examples how to construct the other type of combinational circuits using your decoder. So a decoder is a circuit component that decodes an input code given uh, input code given a binary code of n bit and a decoder will tell which code is this out of the two power n possible codes. So what I am doing here is whenever some code is given out of which I am going to decode that and I am going to find out what uh, is the possible combination uh, it is going to get whenever the input combination is given. Thus a decoder has n inputs and two power n outputs. So what is having the decoder is having n inputs and 2 power n outputs each of the 2 power n outputs corresponding to one of the possible 2 power n input combinations that means now if you look the uh, circuit here if you look into the circuit here a n to 2 power n decoder circuit is given here so it is having n inputs and 2 power n outputs suppose for example if i have two inputs let us take uh, a and b are my two inputs then I will be having 2 power 2 that is 4 outputs you will be getting. So if I am giving 3 inputs like A, B, C then I will be having 2 power 3 that is 8 uh, output lines. So corresponding to the input value whatever you are giving one among the uh, 8 uh, one among the 2 power n outputs will be selected and keep it in mind that the enable is always high. So here the block diagram of typical decoder which has n input and m output lines where m is equals to 2 power n so the decoder is called as n to m decoder so apart from this uh, we have one more line single line which is connected to the decoder called as enable line so if this enable is high only the decoder is going to work now let us see one by one what exactly the decoders are and uh, we will proceed uh, with this uh, examples of your decoders now let us see here I am going to discuss here first about 2 to 4 decoder that means it is having 2 inputs and 4 output lines so it contains 2 inputs denoted by your A1 and A0 and 4 outputs like D3, D2, D1 and D0 and noting that your A1 is your MSB and A0 is your LSB so if you see the two table here from the two inputs A1 and A0 I have four combinations that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So when as I am here discussing about the active high type decoder when the input is 0, 0 my D0 is active high the remaining all are active zeros. Okay. So when I am giving a combination of 0, 1 that means 1 my D1 is high the remaining all are low. And when 1 0 is given my D2 is high the remaining all are active low and D3 that is 1 1 is given my D3 will be high remaining all are active zeros. Now if you see the block diagram for this one now see here 2 to 4 line decoder I have two inputs this is your LSB and this is your MSB. So what are the four combinations D0, D1, D2 and D3. So when here my input is 0, 0, my output should be D0. That's why I have shown D0 as 1 in my output. So when it is 0, 1, so my output should be D1. And when it is 1, 0, my output should be D2. And when it is given 1, 1, my output should be D3. So out of four outputs, one will be selected and note down that your enable is equals to 1. So here now let us proceed uh, to see how to draw the circuit di diagram for this one. So I am taking this as my LSB, this as my MSB. I have drawn two lines with the complements uh, lines. So first one 0 0 is given uh, to an AND gate that represents your D0 and 0 1 is given normal variable that is A bar sorry this is A bar and A naught so I am I am giving it to your A bar and A naught that is D1 
here a and a naught bar uh, that is d2 and a1 and a naught uh, that is your d3 and uh, here one more line which is missing here is that is your enable so if you have an enable which is connected to your AND gate uh, that shows that we are showing your decoder circuit that is 2 to 4 line decoder so this is how we are going to design a 2 to 4 line decoder when two inputs are given you will be getting the four outputs and this circuit shows you are the 2 to 4 line decoder now let us see what exactly your uh, uh, 3 to 8 line decoder is so by seeing the figure we can see that it is having three inputs and eight outputs for this if i take the truth table so it is somewhat uh, big and uh, big so I'm taking here instead of taking like this, I'll be taking it as um, A, B, and C. So instead of taking all the three uh, in a confusing manner, so A, B, and C are my inputs. I'm taking the outputs as your D naught, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 d6 and d7 so my first one will be instead of expressing like this i am writing it as a bar b bar c bar here it is a bar b bar c here it is here it is a bar b c bar next one is a bar b c next one is uh, a b bar c bar and here it is uh, 5 a b bar c next here it is a b c bar last one is a b c so uh, some for uh, easy convenience i am drawing this one now taking 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 double 0 1 0 1 now 1 1 0 and triple 1 for 0 0 this should be high remaining all are low so we are selecting when 0 0 0 is given as input my d naught will be the output next for 1 d1 will be the output for 2 d2 will be the output for 3 d3 will be the output for 4 d4 for 5 d5 for 6 d6 and for 7 d7 so now my truth table is uh, constructed once if i complete my truth table then my next concept is to draw the logic circuit so how you are going to draw the logic circuit means as i have shown uh, in my previous uh, figure i have not drawn the diagram but here i want to show exactly how to draw the diagram now a b and c i am taking here a and its complement and b and its complement C and its complement. Right. So now to get when 0, 0, 0 is given as my input, to get D naught as output, I need to connect A bar, B bar, and C bar to one of the AND gates. So that is D naught. 0, 0, uh, next one what I have here is now uh, 0, 0, 1 means that is. 0 here 0 and this is 1 and if I connect like this so this is your D1 next is 0 1 0 0 1 0 means here this is 0 this is your 1 next this one is 0 I will be having this one as your D2 next I have 0 or 1 0 D2 is completed next D3 that is 0 1 
and one d3 next uh, d4 that is one double zero that is one double zero that is a b bar and c bar d4 next d5 is 101 one. that is 1 0 and uh, 1 this is your d5 and next we have d6 as 110 so 1 next i have 1 and a 0 d6 next 1 1 1 so 1 again 1 and last one also I have a 1 this I am giving it to you and yet this is your D7 and if at all you want to give the enable then draw the enable So this is how you can design a 328 line decoder. So thank you for watching this video.